Hi, Cloy, and the uh, Irish runner here. It's the third running of the Ryanair chase. This, that, and t'other. And two years ago, in the red and white cross belts, trying again. It's the uh, smallest field, I think, of the week so far. So Arnis 9-2 now from 5-1. to one. And uh, they're away then. And our Vic on the right in the blue and green jacket, this, that and t'other. Uh, Crozan in the white cap. The white face two forward away to the left at the first. And a blunder there from this, that and t'other. Racing Demon, a little nod at the back. And now on towards the second. And Crozan, who's wearing blinkers for the first time. Sometimes they can light up a horse. And he's uh, certainly racing keenly in front. Builds a, a clear lead over in the same ownership. Trevor Hemmings' colours, the green cap aboard Billy Vodden now going into second. Then our Vic, Tyrannis, and this, that, and t'other as the leader brushes through the next. Out wide, two forward, then high Cloy. Monet's garden being held up in these early stages as they make this left-hand turn, and Racing Demon is the back marker. So, left-handed they go. The point, almost uh, the furthest point away from the stands here, and uh, Crozan by about eight lengths to Billy Vodden in second place. Then our Vic right up the inside, but uh, in good shape going to post our Vic from Tyrannis. And they're followed by this, that, and t'other towards the centre. But Crozan has a good lead over the next, skips over it very well. Billy Vodden and Tyrannis. And then uh, our Vic, the inside, as they now head towards the next. Fence number five of 17, Crozan and Mick Fitzgerald. Clear of Tyrannis and Billy Vodden, our Vic, and then uh, Monet's Garden, the grave towards the centre. Out towards the left is two forward. And this out and t'other high ploy locked away the inside and racing demon being held up by Graham Lee at the back of the field. Approaching the next, this will be the second last half for another circuit. Throws out in front here. Just have to worry that he's doing a little bit too much in front. Crozan by six or seven lengths to Billy Bodden, approaching the next. Leader pops over this, not so far ahead now, and Mick Fitzgerald is just trying to give him a breather, perhaps. Crozan from Billy Bodden. Tyrannis is third, Auerbeck in fourth, two forward out wide of Monet's Garden. Then this, that, and t'other. And Racing Demon now relegates High Cloy to a close-up last on the inside under Andrew McNamara. They head to the back straight in this Ryanair chase. And still Crozan is Trevor Hemmings, one and two. Crozan from Billy Bodden. Our Vic, the inside, the enigmatic Our Vic. Tyrannis in the center, far side, two forward as they jump the next. At Monet's Garden, they're getting a little bit closer now from this, that, and t'other, and High Cloy. Racing Demon still towards the rear. This is the water jump they're coming to. Crozan pressing on again from Billy Vodden and Tyrannis. They all jump that one uh, impeccably. And now to the open ditch. Crozan comes in. Nick's seen a stride, has he? He saw a stride there a long way off. Kicked the horse in the belly and uh, got a good long jump out of him. Crozan leads from Billy Vodden and Tyrannis, two forward. And now Vic up the inside. I've just got a sneaking suspicion that our Vic hasn't really been travelling for the last 200 yards or so. As they now swing left-handed at the top of the hill, going towards another open ditch. Crozan from Billy Vodden to Rannis. High Cloy's made ground, this, that and t'other. He's at our Vic. And then Monet's Garden, a slight mistake by two forward and Racing Demon. On to another plain fence. One or two of these just beginning to be scrubbed along. And it's still Crozan that swings away in front, jumps this one boldly. Uh, the back two there still racing Demon uh, together with two forward as they now head towards four out. Crozan, Billy Vodden and Tyrannis. Then High Cloy, this, that and t'other. Monet's Garden getting a bit closer now as they race towards this lane fence. Crozan didn't get very high and is down. Crozan the leader down. Billy Vodden slightly hampered. And now Tyrannis is left in front. Tyrannis from Monet's Garden getting very close on the outside. This, that and t'other is right there as well. 
then Billy Vodden and High Floyd and Racing Demon is getting a bit closer on the extreme left now as they jump the third last. Tehran is taken on by the Grey Monet's Garden. This, that and t'other. Billy Vodden, then High Floyd, Racing Demon under the whip. Our Vic is strongly driven and little response as they run to the final turn and it's Tehranis that swings first ahead of Monet's Garden. Tehranis and Ruby Walsh kicks two and a half lengths clear of Monet's Garden. Billy Vodden is running on again. This, that and t'other back in fourth on the inside as they race down towards the second last and it's Tehran. It's a great jump there by the leader. Billy Vodden is trying very hard. Then Monet's Garden. Racing Demon is staying on on the wide outside but approaching the final flight. Tehran has about a length and a half on Billy Vodden. Oh, what a big jump at the last. He cleared it with a foot to spare but Billy Vodden hasn't given up the chase. Our Vic is running on again. Grabs hold of the bit once again. He's such an enigma. Tehran is in front. Our Vic and Billy Vodden are trying to close in a dramatic finish. Tyrannis is all out. Arvik thrusting. Tyrannis held on from Arvik. Then in third, Billy Vodden, followed by Monet's Garden, Racing Demon, then High Cloy, uh, this, that, and t'other, and two forward. Oh, what a nerve-wracking finish if you were on Tyrannis. Ruby Walsh here smiles. Possibly a little Riley, nine to two. What a jump he got at the last. We saw this horse earlier in the season. He's capable of a huge leap, and he found one at the last. He was all out up the running, though. What on earth do you make of our Vic? Our Vic was struggling three out and finished well. Look at the jump at the last by Tyrannis. At least a foot over the birch there. Billy Vodden has run a brave race. He was chasing all the way up the hill, but our Vic was the one that finished the strongest. If only he'd picked up the bit a bit earlier, he surely would would have won once again our Vic's followers uh, are faced with another defeat here when he he might easily have scored Alice Plunkett now with Ruby Walsh Ruby, that jump at the last yeah he was pulling up mad at me in front so he was he'd loads left but um I mean he's only a five-year-old he cracking crack running the paddy pole given these Alexander's him pound you know and he's a grand he's a good he's a grand horse he just pricked his ears on you though didn't he the whole way up yeah he did that the second last swimming in the paddy power and ended up falling over on his head. Yeah. But um, on the whole, he's a wonderful jumper and he's, he's maturing and uh, he's a cracking horse. Fantastic, well done. Thank you. What a thrilling race, Paul Nichols. Oh, brilliant. I mean, he almost got left in front too soon. I've lost my voice yet. <laughs> <laughs> and he was idling in front, that's him. But well, they were coming at you, weren't they? But like at Sandown, he just keeps finding enough. And what a brilliant ride. A, a brilliant ride and a great jump at the last. Yeah, he's a really good horse. Are you saying you've lost your voice? Yeah. I mean, what winners here, they don't get any better, do they? They don't get any better. And this horse has been planned for this all season. And um, brilliant jockey, great team effort. Don't win yesterday, this boy today, the big one tomorrow. We're going to try. Good luck. Thank you. And Ruby Walsh won this, the inaugural running of the round here two years ago for Paul Nichols on this, that and t'other. And Taron is 92 and 4 to 1 this morning, touched 5 to 1 on the course. But as the language of oh, Simon Holt gave you, as the flag went up and it came in to 9 to 2, clear third favourite, Taron The runner-up is our Vic, sent off at 7 to 2. Billy Vodden, a colossal race that ran at 20 to 1, and Victor Chandler making a 33 to 1 chance from the John Smith's Grand National. With Monty's Garden, the favourite, 7 to 4 favourite, big gamble on that, never really looked like getting on terms with them. It's 9 to 2 against Terranis, female on the exchanges. Well, I bet the hunters had laid 240 to 1 out, Vic, and 64 to 1. Billy Vodden had their hearts in their mouth coming up that running. It certainly floored a monster gamble, not only in the betting ring, but on the exchanges for Monet Garden. Plenty of layers will have plenty of ammunition to take on blackjack catch him in this race coming up if they so wish but what a cracking race and cracking ride by Ruby Walsh